It was a couple years ago, and it was pretty interesting. It's still like embossed in my mind, you know, it's, it's really got some interesting clarity for me, but um, I found myself in a high mountain range. Um, and I live in Wyoming near Colorado there. And so I've seen lots of mountain ranges. And this one was very much what I saw in videos of uh, the Himalayas. And so they were very different than the ones I've been around before. And I walked up to a big wooden structure, which I knew was a temple. And I knew it had to do with um, Buddhism and yoga and a lot of those kinds of ancient traditions. And I was looking at it and it was warm and everything behind me was cold and dark, um, but it was warm and welcoming. And I thought, oh, I'm, I get to do this again. This will be great. And so I was going to go in and I could hear kind of everyone inside having a great time and I could smell the food they were eating and there were lamps and it was lit up. And I was about to go in and I was like, wait a second. I've already done this. <laughs> I've already done everything I need to do here. I know what the acolytes do. I know what the masters are doing. I know what the abbot does. This isn't something I need to do again. I've already accomplished everything here for me. And I had this tremendous sense of grief and loss. I was like, oh, but this, this is great. I've done this and I want to do this some more. But it was like some part of me was not that it was just not going to let me go back. And so I um, eventually turned around and left and woke up from the dream. But when I was looking, I could almost like see through the wood at the, the opening and I could see the monks inside and some meditating, some doing work with bells, some chanting, some cooks, people doing some interesting kind of uh, acrobatics, different things like that. And I could see that the whole place went deep into the mountain, went all the way in and it was huge. But on the outside, it looked small, like just a little wooden structure um, with some windows and a big door and I can't remember what color the door was now that I'm trying to describe it to you, but um, certainly there was a lot of wood there and windows, but it looks much smaller on the outside than I knew it was inside. 